The week before their thousand mile race begins, these Iditarod mushers are on tight schedules, gearing up and meeting fans. Yeah, we're pretty pumped. We got a baby boy coming. We have all of our events that we have to go to, of course, um, and then packing the sled. You know, I've got a whole physical checklist of things that I want in the sled. Running the race team, practicing longer miles, packing my sled, fixing any broken equipment, plowing the driveway. But Alaska's Iditarod doesn't happen without the dogs, and they have their own activities ahead of race day, including mandatory vet checks. They all have a blood sample drawn, so we're getting CBCs and chemistry panels, so we get a good uh, insight into their overall body condition that way. And then uh, ECGs or EKGs we do on all the dogs, checking for any kind of heart abnormalities that might be present. Animal activist group PETA has accused mushers of abuse for years. Executive Vice President Tracy Ryman saying in a press release that, quote, as PETA alerts more people to the number of dogs who have died along this thousand mile trail, the Iditarod will soon have no choice but to call its final race. PETA notes that the race has fewer sponsorships this year and low participation. With 33 mushers down from about 50 last year, this is a small field. 33 mushers is a low end, but it'll come back, it'll bounce back. We might not see 80 or 90 mushers like we used to, but dog mushing isn't going to go anywhere. It's just some people retire and maybe it's just a low rookie class and you know, lots of the mushers are having kids now and they're, maybe their priorities are changing, but no, dog mushing will be strong no matter what. Well, I think people just need to trust that this event is not put on by a bunch of animal abusers. That's not what you're seeing here. Uh, what you're seeing is a bunch of people that love dogs and love um, spending time with them and being out in the wilderness. Um, and you're really seeing this awesome relationship of human and animal that we honestly don't have a lot of anymore. The ceremonial start of the race is on Saturday, March 4th, and the restart is on Sunday, March 5th.